reason? For what reason? For what reason did you take my wig off? Because what, what made you think that that was the good thing to do? No, what made you think that that was the good thing to do? Please, please, please. For what? For please. what? Why did you do that? Please. What makes you think that that's okay? Is that funny? Apologize. Is that funny? Apologize. You don't even know me. No, Are you, do you hate women please. or something? Please. Why did you take my wig off Apologize. and keep walking? For this man, karma is coming. Why did you take my wig off and just walk away? Please, please. Because what? Why? Please, 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 please. Nah, have a nice one. Have a nice day. You, you're nice to him. He needs somebody to be his ass. I'm dead ass. The woman behind the camera is Lizzie Ashley, a 29 year old recording artist. Look at this. If you pull the wig, it looks like it's going to come off, right? And then it gets stuck because it has combs in it so he ended up pulling my hair in order to officially take it off you have to then yank down and then try your best it's still not coming off she went over what went down in new york city 1 a.m it happened by 12 o'clock y'all in the next day well no same day y'all gave me his info around like three o'clock i called the police and i put in a report um I went to the doctor. I'm like, why you go to the doctor? The police said go to the doctor. They was like, check everything. The doctor said my neck area is very tense, as if like a traumatic event, not like a car accident, but when you have anything, you know, it was a shock. And he said it's very tense, and I need muscle relaxer. So he gave me muscle relaxer. The man's name who snatched her wig off is Anthony Orlich, a lawyer in the city. It did not take long for him to be reprimanded. Roland Martin would show how quickly the law firm acted to remove him from their company, even releasing a statement condemning the actions. Here are the receipts for those keeping score. Orlich was an associate at Leader Birkin Coleo and Silverstein LLP. He was pulled from the website shortly thereafter. Even his friend was trying to say sorry, literally, for him. And he literally said, say sorry. I was screaming so loud from being upset and distraught that that even happened. He's talking like this, y'all. Go back and watch the video. He's Y'all can't hear nothing he's saying, but in person I heard it. My phone was not picking up not a word he was saying. I don't know what frequency he was talking on. But his friend literally said, say sorry. And he said, for what? That's when I yelled, for what? For what? I wasn't saying, for what did you do it for? I'm like... What do you mean you're not going to say sorry? For what? You just took my wig off. Lizzie's last post was this. Transparency. I am unable to say more at the moment as I move forward legally. I appreciate everyone who identified, called, and emailed. Once I receive an update, I can share, trust, and believe I will. Thank you again. I am currently being educated realistically on next steps. How difficult is this, guys? How difficult is this? Have we not learned anything at all over the however many years that we have been educated on this subject? We have even talked about it a few different times on this very medium as it pertains to sports where Black girls competing in softball, in swimming, powerlifting, their hair has been policed for no reason at all. Remember the story of Andrew Johnson? He had to have his hair get cut in order to compete in a wrestling match in New Jersey. I keep mentioning it, but we'll keep repeating it. The salon song, Don't Touch My Hair. How blinking hard is this? Extremely easy. And do not tell me and give me the excuse of, oh, he was wasted. Oh, he had too many Bud Lights. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. Because there is no excuse for this. For Lizzie, I know that this is probably going to be extremely difficult because these sort of things can lead 
to PTSD. It can lead to anxiety. It could lead to depression. I really hope that she is protecting her spirit and herself through this because what happened to her is devastatingly bad. And for this dude, you reap what you sow. You make your own bed. He is now dealing with the consequences. And if you want to see those pieces, by the way, on how anywhere from the high school level to sporting bodies at the highest, go on our channel and search uh, FINA, F-I-N-A, search Andrew Johnson, search Power Lifter. We have gone over this. It is time to stop policing black people's hair in public. It is flat out pathetic and whatever happens with this dude, whether charges are going to be pressed, which I believe they are, or him having to take the bar somewhere else, my guy, you are atrocious for what you did. Atrocious. And the only way to change it is to learn from it and improve your own psyche because this was horrible.